What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Lag doesn't work very well because, well, I am <laughs> I'm technical difficulties, okay? Now, I have not uploaded a video in for so long. I didn't make a Christmas video, I didn't make a New Year's video, and that's because uh, I had to get my tablet fixed. Yeah, it, it, it did not decide to charge, so we took it to this place called iMechanic or something. They finally have it fixed, literally, the third day of 2020, and, uh, I mean, they had it fixed last night, but we could not pick it up last night, because they were closed when they called us, so I don't know how they called us, but, I don't know, anyway, uh, all you need to know is that it's fixed, and I apologize for not making any videos, even though it's not even my fault. I wore a Happy New Year hat, because, well, I haven't said Happy New Year to you guys, but Happy New Year, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, I'm a little late. We have, we have a new office, basically. I have some new stuff, and, alright, I forgot to turn this on. Yeah, we have new stuff added. I have a little desk. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, it has a remote to it, so, yeah, my desk lights up, it's it. It's a pretty cool desk, isn't it, if it lights up, uh, yeah, <laughs> hello, Mason, boo, you haven't seen Mason in 2020, he's stalking us, anyway, so, uh, no, no, okay, okay, Mason randomly walked in here and he stole his, Put the gun down, Jesus Christ. Mason! Put the gun down. Oh yeah, you see you see Mason's shirt? It says Seahawks on it. Support the Seahawks. Because uh yeah, Seahawks is better than whatever team you cheer for. Does that satisfy your fan fiction? Apparently Mason is Michael Carbonell, I'm just saying. No. Yeah, apparently Mason is Michael Carbonell. Anyway, back to that, because he almost killed us with a beagle. That was very awkward. We have a new setup, an awesome desk, lava lamp still on it, computer still on it. Everything's still on it, we're still working on this place. Now, for some good stuff. TV to put in here. Yeah, uh, we're we're not using the artificial TV anymore. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get that out of here. We're using this TV. I don't know. I'm probably gonna put a picture of my face on it, like back over here. We we want to get it mounted right there, but uh, we are waiting for a mount to come in. So it, it's gonna be a while before this baby set up. So uh, still working on things. We got. There's some more stuff for my bed. Well, my artificial bed, because I don't actually use this. We got two lighting boxes right here that make my face really shine. <laughs> you know, because I need to have a beautiful face in the video. And I am not wearing this hat the entire video because it is hot. <laughs> a couple things that I need to talk about. One, I got a haircut. On, like, the second day when I got out of school, the second day I got out of school, I got a haircut, and, uh, I told the lady to make it short on the top. She did not make it short on the top. All she did was touch the sides of my hair. She didn't even get to the top. Now, the reason why I always want to cut short on the top is because I need to keep my bangs trimmed, and for some reason... Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but she did not trim my bangs. Every time I get a haircut, I get my bangs trimmed, and uh, she did not do it. So now I look like an absolute uh, idiot until I can get another haircut, which is probably going to be today or tomorrow. Uh, I hope it's soon because I'm not going to school looking like this. 
Anyway, so it is a lovely day. I'm wearing my red sweater. Uh, I've never shown this in videos. Sounds like Mason's gonna make another break in. For Christmas, I have weird stuff. And I have a stocking with my name on it because I'm a god. Just kidding, it's just weird. We got these. This stuff, I don't know. It's a bunch of action figures. I don't know. Much stuff I got for Christmas that I cannot show you right now. I can show you Mason's Deagle that he got. I, I got a suppressed pistol and he got a Deagle. It's not fair. I want a Deagle. got these little go-kart things. They're like hoverboard go-karts. You put a hoverboard under them and it's like a go-kart that you control with these sticks. Now because it's controlled by a hoverboard it makes it really scuffed. And when I first got on it I tried to stop it with my feet and then I like flung forward like out of the thing. So I like flung out of it and like onto the sidewalk. It hurt so bad. I seriously considered getting up and going to the car and taking that thing back. But eventually I got it to work <laughs> because, yeah, I, I was not really great with hoverboards. I never had a hoverboard before, and uh, it, it took me a while to learn how to ride the thing. But eventually, I know how to ride it, and uh, yeah, we, we do cheat. A couple more things that I got, I just, yeah, I got these bacon and eggs school-looking socks. Yeah. Didn't get too much for from my mom. For my dad, I got, uh, I got like a GoPro-ish thing. It's a GoPro, but it's not like one of those 4K GoPros. Cause, you know, where the heck is my plug in? Hey, yeah, you, screw off. Yeah, someone's trying to pull into our driveway and I don't even know. Anyway. more things that I got. Uh, I got this like electric bike. It's from the same company that made that uh, go-kart that I was talking about but the bike isn't as scuffed as the go-kart because the bike is not controlled by a hoverboard, thank god. But they're both equally fun because the, the hoverboard go-kart it can turn 360 degrees like this. Twirl. The bike cannot do that but the bike is still electric and all I have to do is sit there and full throttle. It's so easy. <gasps> you can actually have someone riding on the back of it, which is pretty stupid, if you ask me. Because I do not feel comfortable enough to have someone riding on the back of me. I'm just saying. But there, they'll be more like behind me ish, I guess. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyway, so. We do not have anything for the shelf of random. Or do we? Dark. Later. Yeah. I tried recording this before my tablet became scuffed. But, uh, yeah, at the end, it. Basically, I tried to edit it and, uh, the camera got corrupted in like the, right in the middle of it and I didn't even notice so I had to redo the video completely. Eh, it was just scuffed. I ended up doing an office tour. Anyway, so we've got Thesaurus Rex. Yeah, that's the, that's it for the shovel random. Nothing in the box of random today, surprisingly. In case you're wondering about that football that I talk about every single time, <laughs> I'm finally getting it cashed out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It has, I don't know how much money it has. When I poured it out into a cup, it didn't look like very much, but then I realized, like, the majority of it is quarters. So it's probably like $70, $80, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I usually have a cover on this, but I do not know where the cover went. Like, there's this thing. And I would have a cover on this if... I would have...
have a different cover on it, if all this stuff would just get off. I don't know what to do with all that stuff. See, when Christmas comes, I do not know where to put all my gifts. Do I just put them in the stock pit? No, because I'm going to lose them. And I don't know where to put them. So I just set them smack down right here. Well, that's what I did this year. Last year, I just set them randomly in the room. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, that's that. My brother went to a Colts versus Panthers game. I believe this was during when my tower got scuffed. And, uh, he was sitting on, like, the third to top row. And, uh, I, it was just terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I felt bad for my brother. But that's what Kaylee got him for Christmas. She could have got him better seats, at least. I, I've been to one Pacers game, and I've been to Jingle Jam. They were held in the same place, Bankers Life Field House. Bankers Life Field, it literally feels like Lucas Oil Stadium. Like, if you stand up from a high place, you feel like you're going to fall. You're just going to tumble all the way down. <laughs> For some reason, I just don't know why. You're like... Was a good way to think of it. Like, Lucas Oil, if you stand, like, from, like, a really high spot, like, like, nosebleed area, and if you stand up, you just feel like you're going to tumble all the way down. I just don't know why. I've only been in Lucas Oil Stadium once, and that was when I went to the Monster Jam, which I did not enjoy very much, because <laughs> we were, like, top row almost. Yeah, my, my family's not really good at making reservations, are they? I went to a Pacers game, and we were, like, the top row <laughs> at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. And Bankers Life Fieldhouse, the way it's, like, designed is once you're on, like, the nosebleeds, you just can't even see the court. <laughs> like, the court is just so tiny. It's, like, the size of your hand once you're up there. <laughs> Even though the cord is like a million times the size of your hand. Once you're up there, it's like the size of your hand. I was sitting on one of the balconies. I don't remember if it was like against the Nuggets or the Raptors. I don't know. I think it was against the Raptors. Uh, I was sitting like... I was sitting on the balcony. And... I don't know, the screen, you know the big screen that goes around the entire, like, arena? Uh, basically, <laughs> that screen, up above it, is like the nosebleed part of the stadium. We were sitting above of it, <laughs> and when I went to Jingle Jam, we were sitting, like, right where the screen was, so we were, like, the lowest row that you could possibly get for the nosebleed area. So, we could actually, like, see the stage, besides, like, looking down at the areas like an ant. The area was not an ant when we sat down. <clears throat> when I went to Jingle Jam, the area was not an ant. It was normal size. I could actually see the actual size of the thing, instead of putting your hand out and it being like an ant. <laughs> we were way higher for the Pacers game. It was, uh, I literally had to talk to the CEO of Vector's Life Fieldhouse just to get us lower seats. It was horrible. <sighs> anyway, so, yeah. Uh, I don't believe that during my birthday that I still had a tablet working. Actually, my tablet was working during my birthday. I tried to actually bring it to Jingle Jam, but, uh, my tablet got confiscated. <laughs> Cause apparently I didn't have enough fans to get a media pass, so I couldn't record the thing. I you were allowed to take pictures, but you had to say, "Are you taking pictures or are you recording?" <laughs> I said I was recording. They said, "No, you can't do that. Sorry, you can only take pictures." So my tablet got 
confiscated until we left. So, uh, I could not record Jingle Jam for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? And I would have gotten a lot of views just saying, because Jingle Jam was like, <sighs> Bailey and Ryan was there. Max was there. Uh, Why Don't We was there. I don't even know who Why Don't We is. Yet, they are more popular than Max for some reason, and I don't know why. Doesn't make sense. Then after that, it was Lizzo, of course. Lizzo's the best. She's the best. Yeah, that's why she came last. She sang like seven songs. And why don't we sing like 22 that I didn't even recognize? Jeez. Max sang like four, and then Ryan sang like eight. <laughs> I was waiting for her to be done. Like, she was so annoying. No offense if you're watching this video, but... Ah, I just couldn't handle it. I was waiting for Lizzo. But we got there at, like... We arrived in Indianapolis at, like, 6.25. The concert started... You know, we arrived, like, at 4 in Indianapolis. But the concert started at, like, 7. So we went to Qdoba. We stayed at Qdoba for, like two or three hours until they finally decided that we would go ahead and go in and wait for the doors to open because I was tired of sitting in Tudova. It was horrible. It was like a block away, Baker's Life Fieldhouse from Kidova. So, it, and it was like two degrees outside. So we were all freezing as soon as we got in there. See, we could have been warm going in, but, uh, for some reason, the GPS did not lead us to the parking garage that we wanted to go to. There's a parking garage, like, one street away from the entrance of Banker's Life Fieldhouse, and it has, like, a heated tunnel to where you can, like, walk in. See, that was the parking garage that we were planning to go into. But no, the parking garage that we went to was, like, two blocks away from Banker's Life Fieldhouse. That's because GPS led us there instead of the parking garage that we wanted to do. Which is why we were extremely cold. It was like two degrees outside. And I can still think even though if we were in that tunnel, it would still be cold because it was just that cold. And the tunnel was like, I don't know. It, it was pretty tall tunnel. It was like on the fourth floor of the parking garage. Oh my god. Anyway, so that happened. Once we finally got in there, yes, I will admit it, I am afraid of heights. I freaking hate being high up. Okay. But, I we had to walk down like five flights of stairs just to get to our seats because we were at like here, the top rows here, our seats were down here. <laughs> That's where we had to come in. That was the only way we could come in. Right here is where the only way we could come in, top row here. Our seat's here. So I had to walk all the way down there, which was terrifying. And then every time I had to use the bathroom, I had to walk back up and then back down. It was horrible. But I did get to listen to Lizzo, and I did get to see her in person. So it was awesome. I had a wonderful time. And the, the concert ended up being the literal day of my birthday, so yeah, that, was, that was fun. At least we weren't sitting way up here because <laughs> we'd have to climb up like 10 more flights of stairs from where we entered <laughs> that place is tall <laughs> but you know it's it's just yeah <laughs> i had fun at that so. i've been to three really big events and i've been on tv zero times actually i think i've been on tv <laughs> anyway, so I think the only point where I got on TV was on like a jumbotron at like I, I think it was at like it was like a jumbotron at uh, at one of the Pacers games. The camera was pointing towards where our balcony was, so. Like, you can barely see me, but, uh, I don't know. That game was New Year's Eve last year. 
So, you guys can look that up. I think that was the only time I was on TV because I'm, I'm not really popular. <laughs> Hashtag get Drew fan. Okay, this video is already way too long and I've talked about literally nothing about me missing like five weeks of not being able to upload. Oh my god. We're putting the Happy New Year hat back on, and I'm going to tell you about my New Year. Is it facing right? Yeah. Okay. So basically, here's how my New Year went down. <laughs> my mom picked me up from Mason's grandma's house, I think. Anyway, so they took me here. My mom got sparkling apple cider. Some noisemakers and these hats. And she got her a tiara that says Happy New Year, of course. Anyway, we had a really fun time. Really, really fun time. You know, it, we didn't have very many people over there. Here, Maxwell. But it felt like we had a lot of people here. You know. Like, all we had was... Me, my mom, Bill, Mason wasn't here, he was in Tennessee, uh, Kaylee, Daniel, and Scott. That's all we had. And it's funny because all those people live here, but whenever we are at New Year's Eve, it just seems like more people are here. I just don't know why. It's, it's weird. It, it was, it's really weird. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It it's 21 minutes long. Who wants to listen to me talk for 21 minutes? Probably one of my true fans. If you have made it here, I, if you made it to this point in the video, I I, I really thank you. Like literally, I have like no fans. And yeah, nothing on the shelf brand of its size. Darth Vader and the Asaurus. Sorry, uh, can't, can't get the one I'm you know. Not like I've had any strikes or anything. Screw you, YouTube, for giving me strikes. I haven't received a strike yet, probably because I'm not popular. And YouTube doesn't notice me. See, YouTube keeps on turning off my comments. And... Oh, my God. Hope they don't wondering what I'm doing in here. And they are probably thinking some weird is going down in here. Anyway, so I have to like blur my cursor down. Because of demonetization and the risk of getting striked. It sucks. But YouTube keeps on turning off my comments, which really makes me mad. YouTube, if you're watching this video, Please turn my comments on and not off. I know that one drone video, like, I was getting, like, I don't know, bullied or something. But I literally don't give two craps about that one person. That one person can crap comment all he wants. He can do that all he wants. All that I care about is that I am living on this planet. I don't care how many hate comments I get. I don't care how many likes I get. Well, actually, I do. Thank you for liking the video if you have. <clears throat> I don't care, okay? I just don't. All I care. I just don't. Okay. But, when you two touch my comments off, now I do care. Because when I ask you to put something in the comments, and then YouTube turns the comments off, how are you supposed to comment? Like, if you don't comment, I don't know what to do. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, say one person wants me to make a video, I don't know, about ponies, I don't know. <laughs> and they, they, if they can comment that, I can probably have that done. But when YouTube shuts that comment off, I cannot fulfill that person's wish. Meaning... Then I probably just lost a subscriber. Thank you, YouTube. None of my videos get suggested. Except for that drone video. See, YouTube. 
I, I don't know if this makes sense or not. See, you should... A lot of people got T35s for Christmas, which was great. That meant that I could make a video and get a lot of views on it. See, you suggested that video because a lot of people want to know how to control them. And calibrate them and all that good stuff. A lot of people want to know. See, you suggested that video because it was a useful video. And the reason why I got so many views is because it was suggested. Okay? And... It was suggested because... I don't know, it was a great tutorial video. If you suggest my videos, I can gain subscribers. I can... I don't know. Gain views, I can gain likes, I can gain dislikes, which is not really a good thing. But... Here's the thing to all the YouTubers out here, and to YouTube itself with its YouTube Rewind. <sighs> Getting dislikes means that they don't like the fact that you're being successful. Dislikes can mean that they want you to be better at something, or like, include something that you're missing. <laughs> it doesn't mean that they hate you. It just means that they don't like the fact that you're succeeding or they don't like the fact that you're not including them in the rewind. I personally like the rewind even though I was not in it, sadly. But I didn't dislike it. I liked it because, you know, there's, what are you going to criticize about rewind? The fact that you're not in it? Okay. Talk to YouTube about that. I don't talk to YouTube about not being in Rewind. Jeez. I mean, I want to be in Rewind, but I wouldn't die for it. Jeez. If I can get in Rewind, I would probably be like 10 times more popular than I am now because a lot of people see who's in Rewind and go subscribe to them. Personally, that's not me. <sighs> okay. Anyway. I'm done with this video. It's it's getting too long. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'll see you guys later, and this has to go down as one of the longest videos Drew has ever made. Thank you. Have you seen my life? And bye.